What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We ran the Chili Half Marathon and I'm here to take you guys through the day. Super stoked with how it went. Before we dive into that, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so so you don't miss out on any of the videos. But I'm super pumped about how this race went for me today. So I am going to break it down for you from start to finish. We're going to talk about the workout. We're going to talk about the PR that I'm super pumped about hitting and the big confidence boost that I have going into my Mississauga Marathon, which is coming in eight weeks time. So to take you through it, <clears throat> we're going to start with the day before the race. So we started off with a nice little shakeout run. It was three kilometers. Get the legs loose. Get the legs feeling good. Which they were a little sore from the week because this was just another training week for me with a hard effort as the half marathon. Um, but overall, got the shakeout done. Went over to the running room in Burlington to pick up my brace bib. Um, saw... Some of the supporters there, um, Stay Above Nutrition was the nutrition sponsor, which, um, you know, the company that I work for at The Movement has a relationship with them. So it was cool to see the community there, um, had a really great time doing that. And then after, went over to my favorite spot in Burlington for a breakfast sandwich, um, JC Bagels. Absolutely lived off those things for the last month and their breakfast sandwiches are by far the best. So it was a great pre-race fuel for me. Um, really tried to increase carb intake the day before the race. Um, typically for my marathon, I'm starting two days out um, for the half marathon. I started about a day out and saw like a bigger spike in my carbs. It wasn't too heavy of a carb loading um, day, but made sure I got in the best bagel sandwich in Hamilton at JC Bagels. And then um, that night had some pasta, uh, which was very nice. And um, that led into race day. And so with these um, marathon or half marathon race, um, I wasn't going out to like race it like I would race um, my marathon. However, I was going out to put a big effort and I like to use these races to prep myself. So the day of um, the race, I will do race day nutrition, which I will dive into right now with you guys, take you through what I did. What's up guys? It is race day morning let's go you know the first thing that we got to start with is the fueling so i want to take you through a little bit of my pre-race fueling the point of doing these races for me is to kind of simulate race day morning for my marathon coming up in april so we are going to do what i would do for that marathon in terms of fueling so usually what i do i already woke up i already got into the coffee i've had a glass of creatine with water and element in it and then I will dive into making like what I'm going to have for race day so I usually like to have cinnamon raisin bagel with a little bit of peanut butter on it some honey and a banana so those are like the solid foods that I'll get we're looking at roughly 75 to 85 grams of carbs with that meal um, which is good a little bit of protein in the peanut butter and then obviously the fats as well in the peanut butter but the other thing i will drink um i've showed you guys this before but i do water and element and dextrin so there's about 30 grams of carbs in the water bottle itself so we're looking around you know 95 to 100 grams of carbs heading into the race um, which has gone well for me. So that's sat well in my stomach. Um, it's worked for me in the past. So it's good to find what works for you and then keep that consistent. And then during the workout, um, during the race, what I will do is I will use Trickly gels. So precision fuel, there's 30 grams of carbs in these. I usually like to flip flop between like a caffeinated gel and a non-caffeinated gel when I'm doing the races. But today I don't have any caffeinated gels, which is fine. Um, but what it'll look like is I will take one of these gels about 20 minutes before the race. And then from there, probably today, I'm going to take one every 30 minutes. Um, typically when I'm racing the marathon, I am looking to take in 
close to 90 grams of carbs an hour, which in the past has been three of these in an hour. Um, I won't do that today just because um, I don't think I need it um, as well as I need to save money on these gels. Um, but for my marathon, I will be looking to hit three of these basically per hour. Um, also on course, what I will do is I will take usually at most aid stations, I'll take a cup of water and a cup of whatever electrolyte drink they have there, whether it be Gatorade or Scratch or whatever it is. Um, I like to do that at every aid station. Even when it's not hot, like today is not going to be super hot, but it is good to stay hydrated. I'll also, um, on my marathons, use salt tabs as well um, to keep salt high. Again, won't be doing that today. Don't think it's needed, um, but those are things that I will have on my actual marathon. So that's my race day fuel. I'm going to put some peanut butter on this bagel. I'm going to put some honey on it, some banana. I'm going to sip my coffee. Um, got coach Isaac coming up to run the race today as well, which I'm super stoked about. Um, so he'll be here shortly and we're going to get after it together. Super stoked to be back in the race environment and get after it. So that's what I did, um, prior to the race. Um, I had my coach Isaac coming up. Coach is here. Coach is here. Hey man, good to see you. You got a new car? Yeah, man. This is sweet. My other one finally died. Good friend of mine, coach, who um, has been helping me with my run programming. So he came up to run the race. So it was super cool to see him, have him um, down, hang out with him a little bit. He absolutely crushed the race as well. But before we dive into the the race and some of the footage that I captured of that. I had Isaac break down why I wasn't actually racing this race how I wanted to um, and why I was doing a hard workout versus trying to go under 130, which was my original goal. All right, guys, we're here, race day. We got coach Isaac in the back and we're gonna talk a little bit about the race strategy. So. I wanted to try and send this in PR. If you watched my first video, I said I wanted to go under 130 and then I talked to Coach Isaac and he said no. And so he's here to tell you today why I'm not gonna try and PR one, under 130 in the half marathon and we're just gonna do a nice little workout. So Isaac, inform them. Oh, Dolly. So uh, yeah, Dolly wants to run a 130 today. And not to say he doesn't have the fitness to do it, it's just not a part of the bigger plan. If we're trying to go sub three and that's looking to happen in October, uh, we still have so much time to build up to that fitness. So rather than stressing about running a super fast race today, uh, what we did was actually create like a 21K workout. I've done this mainly that Dolly doesn't get too excited and go out fast. So it's a way to limit his speed. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it's just way, way, way too far out from race day, um, our A race. So we just gotta take our time and, and, and uh, just have some fun, Dolly. Now, the secret is, Isaac's gonna be going way faster than me today, so he won't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I may actually try and send it, but no. no. The only time that Dolly can send it, I said, is at the last 3K. So the last 3K cool down, if you wanna go hard, you can go hard. Okay. So my last ma half marathon PR was 137. Is it, you think I'll get under that today? You actually, you might. Yeah. You might. All right, we might have a PR today, we'll see. But. All right, thank you for the insight, Isaac. Thank you for making sure I don't overdo it and stay on track for my sub three hour goal. Yeah, you're still not gonna listen. <laughs> so now that you know why I went and did the race the way that I did, I want to dive into the race itself. Um, so my goal throughout the race was to get some shots of me hitting my kilometer repeats to kind of give you guys some insight into how that went um, for me hard to film and run fast. Um, I've learned that the run influencer game is definitely a challenge. So <laughs> I did my best to try to, um, you know, capture some footage um, as, I, as I went through the race. We stand on guard for thee. Just wrapping up the 4K warm-up. Gonna take a gel, 
get into 1K repeats for seven. Um, but I want to break down the splits that I did hit for the seven rep 1K repeats. Um, I was very, very, very happy with the way that that went. My goal heading into this was to hit those splits um, the best that I could versus like trying to hit uh, sub 129 or this this big, big PR. And I was really happy with it. So it was seven um, repeats, one kilometer on, one kilometer off. First repeat, 407. Set two done, 405. Third interval done, three. 57. Let's go, buddy. Dig. Fifth interval done. 343. Had a big downhill. Sixth interval down. 348. Feeling good. One more. Wish I would have brought more gel. But feeling really good. One last hard interval. All right, interval is done. Last one was 348. Gonna try to push. To the end here, feeling pretty good. Wish I had another gel. So those were the seven 1K repeats that I was going for. I hit all the um, intervals that I was looking to hit on the paces I was looking to hit, and I was really, really happy with that. That's the first time I've really sent like hard kilometer repeats. So those numbers are like really big for me, um, and I felt really strong coming off of that. Um, which after doing those repeats, I had 3K left in the race, um, which was supposed to be kind of easy. But as Isaac alluded to, if I was feeling good, I, I could push that. Um, and I was feeling really good. So the final 3K, I was able to go 415, 418, and then finish strong with the 349, um, which again was like a really big confidence booster for me to be able to like send that last kilometer. Um, and I honestly felt like really, really good um, with those last 3K. Thank you. And in the end, after all that, I did hit a marathon PR, my previous, sorry, half marathon PR, my previous half marathon time best time was 137 i ran that last no two septembers ago i think in london i did a 137 so coming in at 133 um with the the race today was super great um like it was something that i knew that i could do like i was confident that i could do better than what i did last time but with it not being the main focus i was kind of unsure of where i would end up um and then overall like thinking of my original goal of wanting to go under 130 i think if i was trying to just race this race and you know go for that goal i feel pretty confident that i could have actually hit that which is super cool but that is not my main goal so the biggest challenge for me right now and this has always been a challenge for me is to stay focused on the main goal and not get sidetracked so as much as today I wanted to go under 130 and really send it. The main goal for me right now is to run a 310 or a little bit less at the Mississauga Marathon in about eight weeks. And so I'm trying to keep myself focused on that because I am going to be jumping into a couple more weeks here of like really big training. So typically when I would race a race and try to go for my best effort, I would take a week off after. So that's the difference between this and actually uh, um, between like what I'm doing now where I'm focused on one goal versus like not really staying true to what I want to do and just sending it when I don't really need to send it to hit my goals a little bit of a challenge for me um, but after the race had um, a great time um, eating went out got some good food super thankful for my girlfriend Kendra and Maisie the wiener dog for coming out cheering me on um, and always supporting me I'm super appreciative of that as much as it's like an individual sport of me going out there and doing my own thing like the support from Kendra and the wiener dog and my coach and my friends and my family um, really helped to allow for me to have success so that was uh, super great to to have her there have the dog there go out after catch up with Isaac who's a good friend of mine um, and, and is a coach and he crushed it he hit a 125 
um, which was a big PR for him and um, super stoked for him and what he has coming up. So overall, the Chili Half was a great success for me. Um, it was an awesome event, uh, well run, the course was great, um, good volunteers, um, the medals that I've been wearing this whole time are actually really sick. Um, I think these are fire. So overall, super pumped um, about the event. Um, would definitely recommend racing it. I would definitely race it again. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, the next couple weeks of training. I'm jumping into um, training again, like ASAP. I have a big week coming up where volume is going to increase. Um, I am going on vacation to Florida where I'm going to do some big weeks in Florida, which I'm excited about to get into the sun. Um, but training is going to continue to increase in my volume um, heading into Around the Bay, which is the next race technically that I'm running. I'm super excited for that because I got the boys coming up um, who've been running and they're going to run around the bay for the first time. I'm going to run around the bay for the first time. So that will be a super fun day. Um, for me so that's on the horizon and then we're getting really close to the Mississauga Marathon which today's workout today's race was a super big confidence builder for me heading into that so the focus is to stay healthy stay consistent stay training and keep digging deep so that's all I got for today guys thanks so much for tuning into the video thanks so much for the support I've really appreciated it I've had a ton of fun documenting this process so far so for anyone who's checked out the videos supported them I really do appreciate it um, if you aren't following me on Instagram head over there follow me there I post a lot of stuff um, about my running and whatever else I'm doing in business and life there and then follow me on Strava I'm trying to become a Strava star so head over there follow me on Strava give me some kudos um, let's have a conversation. I really enjoy connecting with other people um, in the community. But that's all I got for today, guys. As always, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, comment, all that fun stuff. And we will see you in the next one. Peace.